can be obvious of what is the timeline. None of it. for the monies is the timeline of it. The non monies are a type of only the design. So we're reading from Shimon Bhagavatam, Tavali Pan, Chapter 1, Part 17. Por favor, habla. 
Na, na a nosotros. A nosotros. Shradana. Shradana. Preparado para recibir con respeto. Preparado para recibir con respeto. Lila ya. Lila ya. Pasatiempos. Pasatiempos. Dada. Dada. Avenidas. 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 Sus actos elementales son magníficos y placenteros, y los cantan grandes y eruditos sabios, tales como una arana. De manera que, por favor, hablan, pues estamos ansiosos de oír de las aventuras de él, de, de él que él lo lleva a cabo en sus diversas encarnaciones. Y el invitado no se llama Ubar. La personalidad de Dios nunca está en activo como sostienen algunas personas que son inteligentes. Sus obras son magníficas y magnánimas. Todas sus creaciones, tanto materiales como espirituales, son maravillosas y contienen plena variedad. Almas liberadas, tales como Sila de Nada, Diaza, Dormiti, Nevala, Ashita, Madhava, Sicha y Dania, Ramanuja, Vishnu Swami, Nirvana, Sridhara, Mishwanath, Baladeo, Bhakti Vinoda, Siddhartha Sarasvati y muchas otras almas eruditas y autorizadas las describen muy bien. Esas creaciones, tanto las materiales como las espirituales, están llenas de dependencia, belleza y conocimiento. Pero el ámbito espiritual es más fácil, porque está colmado de conocimiento, de la naturaleza y de la humanidad. Las creaciones materiales se manifiestan por algún tiempo como sombras pervertidas del reino espiritual. Y puede decirse que se asemejan a los cines. Atrae a la gente de una libre poco inteligente que te acerca a la que es atraída por cosas falsas. Semejantes lesios no tienen información alguna acerca de la realidad y dan por sentado que la falsa administración material es lo máximo que existe. Pero hombres más inteligentes, y a los pausados como ya señalada, saben que el eterno reino de Dios es más delicioso y grande y que está colmado de ser una mesa de la resurrección con los niños. Aquellos que no están versados en las actividades del Señor y su reino trascendental, a veces son favorecidos por el Señor en sus aventuras como encarnaciones, en las que despliega a la vez la dicha eterna que proporciona su compañía en el reino trascendental. Mediante sus actividades, él atrae a las almas funcionadas del mundo material. Algunas de esas almas funcionadas están dedicadas al falso discurso de los sentidos cotidianos y otras simplemente están llegando la verdadera vida que tiene el mundo espiritual. Estas personas poco inteligentes son conocidas como en carga, son trabajadores de Dios, y ya o hay de los especuladores de carga. Por el cual estas dos clases de hombre se hacen las inventaristas conocidos como San Pablo o el otro, que ni se ocupa de la desenfrenada actividad material ni de la especulación material. Él se dedica al servicio positivo del Señor y en virtud de ello obtiene el más elevado beneficio espiritual, que es desconocido más o tal que la vida de él. El Señor, como controlador supremo del mundo material como del mundo espiritual, tiene diferentes encarnaciones de ilimitada categoría. Encarnaciones tales como Brahma, encarnaciones perdón, tales como Brahma, Buda, Mana, Trillo y Yasa, son encarnaciones cualitativas materiales. Pero sus encarnaciones como Rama, Narasima, Paraja y Bauda son sus encarnaciones trascendentales. El Señor Sikrishna es el manantial de todas las encarnaciones y, por consiguiente, es la causa de todas las causas. This chapter is the first chapter of the whole Bhagavatam. It is the first chapter of the whole Bhagavatam. And it's beginning the process of setting the scene for the seeking of the Bhagavatam. Y está comenzando el proceso de plantar la semilla de hablar el Señor Bhagavatam por su cadena de cuestión. 
and it's um, it's this preparation of a great sacrifice in the form of hearing the noise of the tongue in the particular place uh, called Anishaban. Entonces, el día de la preparación para, para escuchar el Salvador Batán es un lugar muy particular que es la puerta de Anisaraña. So, imagine that you are with uh, all of these sages at Anisaraña. Imagine that you are with all of these sages at Anisaraña. And there's nothing else to do all day. <laughs> we sort of, you know, we sit here for a few minutes, for an hour, because then we have so many things to do. But it was quite a different mood uh, at Magnus Chiran. They didn't seem to have anything else to do. Parece que no tenía ninguna otra cosa más que hacer. Uh, unlike with, in the case of Maharaj Pariksha, he was fasting for seven days and night. There's no mention of that with regards to these stages that they were fasting. So I guess we have to um, imagine maybe they were eating fruit. En el caso de Maharaj Pariksha, se estaba jugando un ayuno de siete días. No hay nada escrito de hecho acerca de ti. Y Pablo también estaba ayunando unos días que podría estar comiendo alguna ayuda. Es fácil imaginar que tenían una cocina preparada en el bosque. Pero, ¿es verdad que había 60.000 en los países? So they had to have also a lot of fruit. <laughs> maybe, maybe there were lots of uh, mango trees all around. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, they are urging uh, this one stage sutra to speak. And how is he able to be heard by 60,000 sages? He had a very loud voice. <laughs> or the sages had a very, very uh, sensitive hearing. <laughs> they were so focused that they could see them and hear <laughs> It is mentioned one of their qualifications, they are Shraddha Dhamma Namwe. They uh, have great, it says here, they're ready to receive uh, the speaking of Sutra Dhamma with respect. And one point that Prabhupada is making in the third word is the uh, sort of the lack of such. Um, attitude nowadays. Um, so it's setting the state, and part of this uh, setting the state is uh, the context of the time and what is the time. We have a colleague. Entonces está montando la escena y parte de montar la escena cuál es el tiempo y el tiempo cuál es la era de cada. Lord Krishna has departed along with uh, knowledge and devotion. Because uh, Krishna is a dharma, but in dharma, he is departed together with 
Dharma and Jnana live. Well, there is something we can do. We can hear about it. Um, in the Jewish tradition, sometimes I like to. So in uh, in Jewish tradition, the, there's there's history that is uh, the temple of Jerusalem uh, was destroyed in well two times I think, um, and in the year seventy of the Common Era was destroyed. The Romans said these, these Jewish people were making too much trouble. They destroyed it. And then, from then, started what came to be known as rabbinical Judaism. In which uh, the focus, because there's no more temple, which was the center of the cult, uh, what do we do now? Now we read from scripture. Yes, we read and we read and we read again and we study and we from all angles of vision and we take apart and we question and we that's for the angle choose. And they, they have their schools, the uh, yeshiva, where they study their shastra. <laughs> and I saw a video one. Um, in the morning when they start their study, they have little Ritual first, they bring out uh, the scrolls, uh, which are the Torah, from the sort of cabinet. <coughs> uh, and it's, it's, uh, I think it's in the site, it's a scroll which is on two schools and it's covered in uh, purple velvet or red velvet. And when they bring it out of this cabinet, uh, there's a big roar of ecstasy. I don't think they say I hope, but I I may have mentioned this some last time, but uh, in our Temples in Hungary, in Budapest, and at the they also do a little ceremony, not quite the same, with the Bhagavatam, before the Bhagavatam. This was instituted by. Uh, that um, before the Bible is on the past, the Pujari, it's after the Deity reading, he um, brings out um, the Bible on a silver 
Entonces, partido acá. Ellos están intensamente ocupados en partido acá. Uh, so, karma ni budaya ni. Uh, this is just the plural of karma is karma ni. El plural de karma es karma ni. And so, um, budaya ni has to also be plural. Entonces, budaya ni también está en plural. So, yeah, it, um, this, is, this must be shown that he is speaking on the eye. And he's saying, come on. Tell us about the word. There is a lot to tell. I want to tell you what I see. Because he does so many things which are so magnanimous and so wonderful. Uh, and we're at your ear to hear. Y estamos ansiosos de escuchar. We have nothing else to do. No tenemos nada más que hacer. And it's Kali Yuga, and we have to do something uh, to counteract the effect. Y es Kali Yuga, entonces tenemos que hacer algo para contrarrestar los efectos. So, uh, let's get going. Entonces, continuemos. Uh, and then, Vimaya Dajata Kala. Um, Advances, he, he has appeared in this world. <laughs> and Allah um, means uh, there's Amsa and there's Allah. And I never know exactly the difference, but there's Prophet, he, he says. Um, Slendery portions, like proportion of the proportion. The Lord appears as a as an expansion of Himself. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of these words is Allah. So he's, he's just um, referring specifically not to the original word, but to his expansions to the future. And how do they do it? How does, how does God come to this world? Uh, this is the uh, instrumental, grammatical form. So we, we know the word we love. Esta es una forma eh, vocal instrumental. Nosotros conocemos la palabra lila. So, lila, ya, by, by lila, by play, by, uh, by means of a mysterious uh, way of the Lord uh, called lila. Entonces, lila, ya, significa por las formas misteriosas en las que el Señor puede hacerlo. Uh, some months ago, this summer, I attended, I took part in one academic conference of Indologists. Hace un tiempo, a la Liga, asistí a una conferencia de Indologists. Indologists. And this is a special species of the 400,000 species of humans, one of them is Indologists. Esta es una especie particular de todos los millones de tipos de especies, los indologistas son una especie particular. They're very nice people. It's okay to make that up. But they really get into details of Sanskrit language and so many things. Pero son muy detallistas en cuanto a lo más que saben, pero hay muchas otras cosas. So one one may need a presentation on the word What is the um, what's the source of this word? How is it's a strange word in terms of Sanskrit language, it's actually kind of strange. What is the language? And well, one thing that um, that Indologists like to do 
is speculated. <laughs> but it's educated speculation. It's not just out of the thin air. But she said it's, um, we don't, we can't really trace a history of this world, so what to do? How to understand it? So she said, this, you know, she humbly suggested that uh, this, this word is it's like the babbling of children. Yeah, it's like, it's like some <laughs> playful sound. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> and it's very important words in our Tradition, we understand the word place. Now, someone could object and say, in this very same verse, it says, Karma is uh, doing karma. And we all know that karma is what makes one um, conditioned and bound in this world. Karma bandana. One is bound. You are bound by your actions. Karma bandana. So which is it? Uh, are Krishna's, are the Lord's activities karma or are they Niva? Well, how about their both? <laughs> but when they're karma, they are Niva karma. They are Tudara karma. They're noble. Prabhupada translates the word kala as incarnation. And uh, he often refers to uh, forms of the Lord appearing in this world as incarnation. And this is something which Christians get nervous about. Because in the Christian tradition, there's only one incarnation. Uh, but they may be surprised to know that one of their greatest theologians, Thomas Aquinas, has written that theoretically it is possible that there are more than one incarnation. I was told this by uh, one um, Christian. So the, um, those 
in the knowledge of in the <coughs> in knowledge is speaking about entonces aquel que se estudió aquí en el octavo salario they they will say this idea of the word appearing in the world this this is not found in the earlier literature in the great Vedas so we find it in the later literature In the Pancharatra literature, there's idea the Lord appears in five different levels of forms. Uh, there's Para, that's the Lord in the spiritual world. There's Diva, that's the initial expansions of the Lord, still in the spiritual sky. There's Diva, which are forms of the Lord that are appearing in this world, that we call them avatar. There's antaryami, the word who enters into the heart of all living beings. And there's one more. What's that one? What is the one? That's Archai. Archai. Yeah, the Lord of Purity in the temple. And each of these forms is cumulatively uh, having the presence of the previous form. So the view of forms include the para form. And the viva forms include the viva and the para form. And the, where are we? The antaryami includes the uh, viva, viva, and para. The Antaryami, which means the lower within, the Lord in heart, includes the Vibhava, the Jiva, and the Vipara. And the arch of form includes what is that? So you'll test you next week. So what does that mean? That means the arch of form of the Lord is very, very much present. The Lord is present. Now you may say, but he doesn't do anything. <laughs> and it says here, karma does so many things. Um, well, aside from um, this referring to the avatars, this is the points that actually engage in so many actions, aside from that, um, we, we may not see that the Lord is acting, but uh, we can understand that He is acting in so many ways. 
that we don't see on the level. Puede que nosotros no veamos que el Señor está actuando, pero en realidad Él está actuando de muchas maneras diferentes que nosotros no podemos notar. And like uh, again mentioned in the Shivaransam, he, he says in a nice way, he says, you are appearing as if, as if you will not act as if you are So the Lord appears in that form. Why? Uh, that is his, uh, his mercy to facilitate spirits. Facilitate our seeing because our eyes are very, very dull. So uh, he finally says, Here I am. So, like that. And the bird is also playing. <laughs> right, so these are a few points. Um, this is all um, not preparing the scene and it's inspiring. Uh, Bright sun. 
blanco y blanco de los chilenos. Entonces, porque Europa nos hace muchas distinciones de todo este tipo de categorías, que es una estructura de la vida, de la vida, de la vida, de la vida de los chilenos. Es rica de la vida de los chilenos. Tú ves que es una rica de la vida de los chilenos. Está en rica de la vida de los chilenos. Is that a response? Yes, it's an activist. And I'm looking at the family of the Lago Lago. The Lago 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 yeah. Oh, a little footnote to everything. Una pequeña nota aquí. To make a correction to what I said on Sunday. Para corregir algo que dije el otro día. I had said that I heard there are 53 books about Shiva Prabhupada. Dije que yo he escuchado que existen 53 libros escritos de Shiva Prabhupada. One devotee in Croatia. Rana K. Lunda wrote, sent me a message because he had heard him say, and he heard the, the talk, and he said, 53, mm -hmm. he said, actually, it's more than that. He said, uh, I'll send you the list because he's, he's, he's a fanatic in a very nice way. He likes to collect. Uh, Books, um, especially digital form. So he sent me to this. It has a hundred and eighty four titles. Wow. <laughs> Including, of course, each. And if he itemizes, for example, our story of uh, uh, diary, which is now all together, so five plus diaries. So, if you do So, if you do it, you do so question, questionable in terms of their uh, authoritativeness or some in different ways it says they may or may not be so authors. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.